Hi, Brenton Ford here. Welcome to the Effortless Swimming YouTube channel. This video is about how often you should breathe and what breathing pattern you should use when you're swimming freestyle. Now let's break it down between training and racing. To me, they're two different things. So in training, what I recommend to my swimmers is every time that you're training, you should mix it up to both sides. Now, it doesn't necessarily need to be 50-50, as in 50% of your breasts to the left, 50% of your breasts to the right. Uh, it might be something like 30-70. I don't mind too much with that, as long as you are mixing it up to both sides. Now, the breathing pattern in training, again, it doesn't matter too much as long as you mix it up. For example, if I'm in a 50 meter pool, I'll typically do um, two breaths off the wall for the first couple of strokes. So I breathe in every two strokes um, off the wall, and then I might get into a breathing every three pattern, or sometimes I'll go half a lap breathing to the left, half a lap breathing to the right, or other times I'll just alternate it. Um, left side on the way down, right side on the way back, breathing mostly every two. But obviously it depends what speed you're going and, and what's the, the purpose of the set and how much air, how much oxygen you're going to need uh, throughout, that, um, throughout that set. So it really varies depending on what you're doing in training. But to me, don't worry too much about the breathing pattern, just find one that suits you best. Everyone's different. I know swimmers that prefer to breathe every three strokes and then I also know swimmers who are not great breathing every three, so they prefer to go every two strokes, and there's nothing wrong with that at all. Each person's different. So that's training. Now, when it comes to doing some faster paced sets in training, I think it's important to, for the most part, settle into a breathing pattern that you'd have for a race, and we'll talk about that in a moment, but if the basically you need to get as much air in, or as much oxygen in, as you need to be able to sustain your pace throughout the set. So there's no point holding a, every breathing every four pattern because you're being told it's a better thing to do if you're really struggling to get enough air in. So to me, breathing every two or three is typically what most people will do when they're swimming at you know, at a fast pace, anything sort of 85 to 90% or above. Now, when it comes to racing, to me, I, you know, to me I'm better off breathing to the left-hand side. And for any events that are, that are typically about 2K or shorter, I'll breathe just to the left. But then for events that are any longer than 2Ks, I'll usually mix it up. I'll do about 75% of my breathing to the left side, and then about 25% of my breathing to the right side. Now, for events that are longer, so for example, when I did the Rottnest Channel in uh, in February, I did about even. I did about 50% to the left, 50% to the right, because the pace is a little bit slower. And to me, um, I'm better off. I can breathe easier to the right-hand side when I'm going that little bit slower. So again, there's no hard and fast rules with this. To me, a lot of swimmers take advice to literally where they're told to breathe. You have to breathe every two, you have to breathe every three. But to me, just find whatever suits you best. As long as you can breathe to both sides in training, then when you're racing, stick with whatever suits you best. And it's gonna vary depending on the distances that you're doing, the pace that you're going, and a number of other factors. So don't worry too much about which breathing pattern you're settling into. Everyone's different. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you subscribe below. We're very close to 100,000 subscribers. I'd love to hit that just as a number to hit. And if you did enjoy it, make sure that you also like the video and share it with anyone who you think could benefit from it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.